The following morning, after the briefing, I made the three tugs stay behind. Right, Sutchess, you can tell them the rear of the schooner is. We have a contractor to tow her out to sea. I reckon Burma can do that. Seeing there's no engines to break down, catch fire, no crane horses to snap, no ammunition to explode, or boys to sink. Just plain sail. And if Burma breaks down, then the sail can more likely pull him. Very droll, sir, very droll. Look, come on, before he changes his mind. Okay, but don't toot. They escorted Boomer to the old wharf, <laughs> without anything going wrong. Good luck, Boomer! No such thing. There is, but it's recognizing it that's difficult. Well, don't sound your hooter! Maybe they'll help me recognize something. He's just got to be okay this time. Nothing could go wrong now. Early. Yeah, well, let's hope so. Anyway, if it does, it's nothing to do with me. I'm staying right here, in the harbour. Good to admit, Tencents. It is a bit mysterious, all this cheek stuff. Things going wrong in that. Later, Ten Cents and Sunshine were working with Big Mac and OJ when the fire launch brought in Boomer and the burnt out scoop. Boomer, what's happened? Lightning, that's what happened. But that fire object didn't believe me. He thought I was going too fast and a spark threw out of my stack, but it's not true. Yeah. Anyway, I can't be bothered to argue anymore. Oh, you must have done something. I did nothing. Lightning? Well, it's possible, I suppose, but on such a nice day, at least. Anything's possible with Boomer. He really is jinxed. Thank you.